just go ahead and explain where we are. We'll first be viewing the imperfections in the master closet hers. So in, in her master closet, or the master closet hers as the plan is labeled, the styles were installed improperly with not flush margins here, places right here where the nails were shot through the face of the style and came through the shelving throughout the entire closet that will have to be removed and replaced. So once again in the master closet hers, the mirror frame woodwork is installed improperly. It is not um, symmetrical with the electrical outlets and the other trim, therefore will have to be removed and replaced. What are we looking at now? The master bathroom shower per plan and it does not have exhaust ventilation in the ceiling that we will show. Okay, go ahead. So this is a view of the master shower ceiling where there should be exhaust fans installed but are not. They will have to be installed. Okay, go ahead. We'll now look at the master closet his. So the same problems in the master closet his as exist in the master closet hers where the style, the face styles were installed improperly, will, some will need to be removed and replaced. Master bedroom. Master bedroom. Go ahead. Electrical outlets in master bedroom baseboard were installed too close to the floor, therefore the baseboard will need to be removed. The electrical box raised to be in the center of the nine inch baseboard and then another baseboard installed. Okay. We're now in the entry foyer and we'll be showing an example of baseboard trim on this corner. Baseboard trim has unacceptable gapping when installed will have to be removed and replaced properly. This problem exists throughout the entire house. Here is the proposed header trim work for the main entry door that Mr. Braxton requested. This is the finished product that he was given. As you can tell, well, it is, that it is not the same product. We'll now look at the great room baseboard electrical. Okay. So the great room baseboard electrical is the same issue as the master bedroom baseboard electrical. The electrical outlets were installed too close to the foundation. They should have been installed in the center of the nine inch baseboard. Therefore, baseboard will have to be removed. Electrical boxes raised to the center new baseboard installed. This issue repeats itself throughout the house. Great room uh, television location has no electrical or electrical conduit for HDMI cabling or power cabling at its proposed location. Should be installed somewhere in this general vicinity. On this interior door, the margin from the slab to the bottom of the door is one inch here, one and a quarter inches on the other side. Where the door meets the door stop, it meets tight here, but as you pan up, you'll end up with a eighth inch gap at the top. This is unacceptable. Also on this particular door, the door casing route is very imperfect. If you'll zoom in on that. Area right there. There's also 
gapping here on the door casing. Door casing will need to be removed and replaced with a different style per the homeowner's request. Also, on the interior of this same door, when the door is closed, you have an, a very tight margin here almost touching and a proper margin on the left hand side of the door. This is installed in properly, will have to be removed and replaced. The problems that I just pointed out with this particular door are consistent with about half of the doors that have been installed. Therefore, those doors will have to be taken out and reinstalled. Keep looking at it. This grows. Look at that. Okay. We'll now show you the trim detail above hall number one double door entry to bedroom number one, Ray's office. Gapping in the miter joints of the door casing throughout the house that will have to be removed and replaced. Also on this door, another example of the door touching wash, wash the door stop at the bottom. And this one has probably a 3 8 gap at the top. Consistent throughout the house, doors will have to be removed and replaced. Archway leading to back hallway. The sheetrock will need to be removed. Framing will have to be redone and then sheetrock, bull nose corners, tape bed texture repaired. We're now at the entryway porch area of the pool bath. We will need to remove the framing that has been constructed for this archway due to not having enough space off of the wall to accommodate the stucco banding to match the rest of the rear elevation of the house. We will need to add approximately four inches to this framing which will cause us to have to reconstruct the entire archway. It will have to be removed and replaced. Okay. So the trim detail above the twin door in this hallway is out of proportion per the homeowner's request. It is not symmetrical and centered in the space. As you enter the room from this direction, you lose the visual of the trim as it should be. I don't know if that makes any sense. At the archway dividing the great room and the kitchen, we will have to remove and replace the bull nose trim and retake bed and texture due to the arch flattening out from here to here. Looking at that door. Okay. Okay. The pocket door that we just videoed is located in bedroom one, Ray's office, bath number one, the door between the vanity area and the water closet. We will now return to this same area and point out some electrical ventilation issues that do not exist that will have to be repaired. Okay, go ahead. In Ray's office closet, the sliding pocket door is not plumb. It sticks out from the door jamb at the top, and as you pan down, you'll notice it is flush at the bottom. When you close the door, this also creates an issue on the other side as it hits the jam inconsistently from top to bottom.
This ventilation fan located in bathroom number one is improperly sized. It needs to be upgraded to a larger size to handle this cubic airspace. Also, in the adjoining shower, there is not an exhaust fan installed in that ceiling. I'm proposing that there needs to be one installed there as well. We're videoing now one of the windows on the front elevation of Mr. Braxton's home. The original contractor the stucco contractor he used installed the the threshold or water table trims on the bottom of all of the windows upside down. The bottom flat part should be on top. Therefore, all of the water tables on the bottom of the, each window of the house will have to be removed and replaced. On the rear elevation of the house, there's a set of triple windows where the stucco trim is not uniform across the face, as you can see by my level, and down that way too. You can see the difference in margins with my level as I place it on the face of this styrofoam trim. I will show you that the third window this window has the same issue as the other. Got We're now filming the rear entrance to Ray's office room. As you can see here, electrical box is installed way too close to stucco banding. Therefore, we will have to remove stucco, slide box out, move wiring, on the left and on the right as well. Okay. We're now videoing uh, the chimney of Mr. Braxton's home. It should have a sheet metal custom made chimney cap on it that will also be strong enough to hold the tile roofing tiles that you see in this video. Obviously the sheet metal chimney cap is missing and will have to be provided by contractor from this point forward. 